Uh, this is Boston Lear with Lear there and everywhere. Uh, I'm with Hunter Shinkarik. Uh, you may know him slightly. Well, in from the right side, LaBelle, he was checked, they score! Boston Lear! They're uh, throwing some punches at one another. There gets the first one in there, who knocks Nichols' helmet off. Hunts, who's the worst guy to room with on the road? Uh, worst guy to room with? Uh, you know what I'd have to say? It'd probably be like Dotes or someone. Here with uh, Tyler Lewington. Uh, Louie, who is the worst roommate to have? Uh, I've heard pretty bad stuff about Rick, so uh, gotta keep your keep your eye on a swivel there and uh, make sure he's not uh, getting into any of your things there. All right here with uh, Derek Rickman, first time on the show. Uh, Honor. A little bit taller than me, but uh, yeah, that's okay. He's just a big individual. He's a big unit. Who'd be the worst roommate on the team? I'm going to have to go with my own uh, roommate, Merrick Leinhammer. Uh, his Europe uh, traditions kind of get on my nerves a little bit, so uh, I have to say Merrick. I don't know really how I would deal with that. Um, that's no offense to Jacob, but I, I just think that he'd probably be the worst. Yeah. Pretty unfair comment. I mean, the guy comes across the world and you're just <laughs> absolutely dogging on right now. A little bit weird since he's standing right here. Um, who would be the best guy to sit beside on the bus? Uh, um, I think it would be you. I'm going to have to say uh, probably one of the small guys like Cox here or Sani. I know I got uh, Elgin beside me and his, his legs kind of fall down on me when we're sleeping on the bus, so I'll have to go with a small guy. You know, you're just a fun guy to be around and, uh, you know, I'm just really pumping your tires here, so I'm going to stop and that'll be as good as it goes. I'd like to sit by Hodder. He's always sleeping, so got more room for my feet there. Little fun fact: Me and Hans, when we were rookies, we were actually uh, we were actually um, busmates. Yeah, Hans would be good. He uh, he seems to know everything about everything. I'm pretty sure you could ask him uh, anything you want to know, and he knows. We were coming home, and someone had to sleep on the floor, and so I said, and Hans goes, uh, "Yeah, you know what, uh, Lirzy, someone's got to sleep on the floor, but uh, I can't do it because I'm claustrophobic. So I, I don't think I really had a choice. So, who would replace Rids if or when Ridsy retires? Uh. Next question. I'd have to go Curtis Falk, you know, hometown guy. He knows a lot about the Tigers, so I'd have to go Curtis. Uh, probably Elgin Pierce. He's just, uh, I don't know, he's just a like a veteran guy. and Even to drive the bus or play by play? Uh, I'm just I don't know. The commentary, you think he's there with that? Uh, maybe a little bit. Maybe I'll have to take some classes or something, but uh, yeah. Is there any other Tiger that you, that's really good at the commentary that you've uh, maybe heard? Broadhead? Broadhead, maybe. Who would, who would be the best play-by-play -play guy? Uh, Ken Stickle. Agreed. If anyone can handle the uh, the pressures of driving around. Not, not, thinking of Elgin, not thinking of Elgin Pierce. You've never heard him talk about it. Uh, young teenage guys like us, it would, <laughs> it would have to be him. No, not Elgin. Uh, <laughs> so it, it would definitely be Elgin. Oh, you're totally out of the loop, Rex. Yeah, it was, he's a terrible driver. He's the worst driver I think I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> well, yeah, I heard that too. Um, we got some pretty reliable sources. Then we might not last for too long. <laughs> Thanks for watching Lear There and Everywhere. Follow me on Twitter at Beantown underscore 20. Tigers make it five to four. All that was made possible by some hard work.